Good morning from Edinburgh. This is where I got ready this morning. It is supposed to rain, which is why we wanted to do most of our exploring yesterday. This is what I'm wearing today. I've had this shirt since about 1994 when I worked at Lerner New York. And this was on clearance, plus I got a discount for it. So it was only like $4 from what I remember. <laughs> and it's held up so well and I love it. It's like, it's one of my favorite shirts. And I'm wearing jeggings. And there's Brad. You look very nice. Thank you. You look nicer than I do today. I look pretty uh, bummy. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I got clean tea too. So we just had breakfast. There was uh, another guest downstairs that we had breakfast with. We did talk for a while. She's from England and she's got family in London. And so we talked a lot about London and just the difference between our cultures, you know, being Americans, being up here. And we spoke with, I mean, I can't, I th oh, his name is Sean, the man who runs this bed and breakfast. It's very friendly, very helpful. If you ever stay in England or anywhere, really, a bed and breakfast is the way to go because you, you do get a more personal interaction, more so, I think, than at a hotel. I'm rambling. So now we're going to head on up north. To Fitlockery, to Tory Distillery, and then we're on our way to Inverness, and a little further north for our next... Uh, adventure? <laughs> adventure, our next stop uh, <laughs> on our way. Right, so Brad just got us to Pitluckery mm -hmm. in Scotland. We're gonna be in Scotland from here on out. And we're gonna go inside the distillery. The Blair Ethel. I think he likes to say Blair <laughs> Ethel. How else is she supposed to say it? <laughs> <laughs> well she said the she said um Ethel. Ethel. Okay, ethol. the Blair Ethel. <laughs> and uh gonna see how they make some whiskey and get a, a weed dram sample. A wee dram. And uh, yeah. then we'll act like Athol's. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Blair Athol. <laughs> yeah. Barley is the most important ingredient to make single malt scotch whiskey. Now, in this city, we use a different type of cask. One comes from the US, from America, from Kentucky. They have matured bourbon whiskey in it. Put a taste, a little taste of whiskey. Yeah. We just finished up at the distillery. I didn't finish my weed dram because yeah. I had to drive because it was it was strong. 
Yeah, it was strong. I didn't finish mine either. Um, it just, it really burned. This is what we have left. And they didn't give us very much to begin with, so we each only took a few sips of yeah. ours. And they gave us little souvenir glasses to take home. And it was nice. It was really interesting. See that? It was nice. Mm-hmm. So, off we go. Your legs are all moving right now. I'm excited. She's she all excited. I'm all excited. So I realize this may not appear to be the most exciting place to a lot of people, and I can totally appreciate that. The reason I'm so excited to be here at Terrell Farm is because my favorite novel, Under the Skin, is set here and was even written here. The author lived here for many years and he was inspired by the farm, the North Sea, the A9 that we drove in on, the whole area really inspired him to write it. So apparently I'm not just obsessed with film locations, I'm the same way about books too. If you haven't read it, obviously I highly recommend it. What you gonna order? Well, we're both gonna have 
the waffles. Okay, for my waffles, make sure you put no fruits. I don't want any fruit on my waffles. And you're okay with the ice cream and the butterscotch sauce? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So that concludes day six of our UK holiday. In our next vlog, we take in the shore of the Moray Firth, visit Wilkhaven Pier in Easter Ross, and the Tarbot Nest Lighthouse. We stop and talk to some sheep. We do even more exploring in and around the village, and Brad feels compelled to ring the bell at Fern Abbey. I did it. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you in our next vlog. Bye.